So moving on, what makes teams effective? So in 2012, Google embarked on a project to find answer to this exact question. Abir Dube, the gentleman you see in the slide picture, he was the Google's director of people analytics, which is another name of human resources. He was selected to lead the efforts to answer this question, what makes teams effective? And Julia Rozovsky, uh, she was also the part of the team in her role as people operations analyst. Uh, she's also in this picture. Now, what did they want to do? Their quest was to find the recipe to build the most effective team. So just like a recipe, they thought that you can add a perfect mix of skills, backgrounds, traits, and then you can engineer a super team. Now, this is not a new idea. Uh, business schools, consultants, social scientists, and many others have done tremendous amounts of work on team effectiveness. I did a Google search just a couple of days ago on team effectiveness, and I got 43 million hits. And I'm sure in your role, either in the top management or as a talent management professional, you have also thought about this question. What makes teams effective? So moving on. What is the difference? See, when Google does something, they are a unique and highly successful company. They have huge resource advantage, immense brain power, ability to run algorithms and analytics, a data-driven approach. And of course, they have all kinds of money to throw at any worthwhile project. So Abir Dube recruited statisticians, organizational psychologists, sociologists, engineers, researchers to help solve this problem or a riddle, what makes teams effective. Initially, they began with extensively reviewing the existing body of knowledge on team effectiveness. What they found was that often the research on teams is done by academic institutions, you know, universities, colleges. And who do they conduct this research on? The subjects that are very easily available. And those are the undergraduate students. But Google wanted to study real work teams and understand what worked in real life, not in a, a bubble kind of an experiment. They already had immense amounts of data on their teams. So they used their intellectual ability and to run the algorithms. So here is what they did. They spent two years, millions of dollars, and tremendous amounts of resources and conducted over 200 interviews, studied over 180 teams, real work teams, considered more than 250 variables, uh, team composition and team dynamics, which we'll talk about a little later, and used Google's immense intellect and computing power to run statistical and other analytical models uh, to do what? To hone down on the factors that impact team effectiveness. So that's what Google 